Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to express a fraction as the sum of its partial fractions. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the example given, we have 3x plus 5 divided by, in bracket, x minus 3, close bracket, open bracket, 2x plus 1, close bracket. If we look at this fraction, if we inspect the denominator, we can see that it is a product of two factors. We have x minus 3 and 2x plus 1. So what that means is the denominator has two components for its denominator. Therefore, to express it as a partial fraction, we're going to have the first term, that's a, over the first factor, that's x minus 3, plus b over the second factor, that's 2x plus 1. Note that the disintegration into components with factors having as numerators a and b are numbers such that a and b cannot involve x or powers of x because otherwise the terms on the right will be an improper fraction. The next step is to find the LCD or the lowest common denominator and multiply each term by the LCD. So for this example, we have our LCD or lowest common denominator to be the factors x minus 3 multiplying 2x plus 1. So the next step is to multiply each term by the LCD. So multiplying each term by the LCD on the left hand side, we have 3x plus 5 over x minus 3 to x plus 1 multiplying x minus 3 that's the lcd to x plus 1 close bracket equals then we have each term on the right doing the same we have a over x minus 3 multiplying the lcd we have that as x minus 3 to x plus 1 then we do the same thing for the second term plus b over 2x plus 1, then we multiply it by the LCD. Now the next step is to cancel out the common factors from the numerator and the denominator for each term. We have x minus 3, cancelling x minus 3, to x plus 1, to x plus 1. We're done with our left hand side. And for our right hand side, we have x minus 3, cancelling x minus 3, to x plus 1, to x plus 1. Therefore, we write in our equation. On our left hand side, we have 3x plus 5 equals on the right hand side a in bracket 2x plus 1 plus b in bracket x minus 3. Note that this new equation is an identity, and what that means is that it is true for any value of x, but because we want to find the value of a and b, we can choose any value for x, it will work. For the equation so to eliminate a we have 2x not what we have as a factor of a we have 2x plus 1 in the bracket to make the value 2x plus 1 0 we have to make x half what i mean is if i have 2x i'm going to work that out here 2x plus 1 equals to 0 what will make that expression 0 we have 2x equals to negative 1, dividing both sides by 2, we have x equals to minus 1 over 2. And likewise, if we take the coefficient of b, which is x minus 3, to make that 0 also, we have x, I'm going to rewrite that, x minus 3 equals to 0, therefore x equals to, moving my negative 3 to the right hand side, x equals to 3. So we're going to do that one after the other. We're going to start by making x equals minus 1 over 2. So if you replace x with minus 1 over 2, we have 3 multiplying minus 1 over 2 plus 5 equals a in bracket 2 times minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus bracket plus b in bracket minus 1 over 2 minus 3 close bracket. If we simplify, what we're going to have on the left hand side will be 
minus 3 over 2 plus 5 equals, I'm going to have a in bracket 0 plus b multiplying minus 1 over 2 minus 3 will give us minus 7 over 2. So I might as well write that. So I have minus 7 over 2b. So what will happen is a times 0 is 0. That cancels out. On my left hand side, I have minus 3 over 2 plus 5. That will give us 7 over 2 equals minus 7 over 2b. Therefore, dividing both sides by minus 7 over 2, the value of b will be negative 1. We've done that for b, then we're going to do the same for a. So the first substitution we made was to make x equals negative 1 over 2. The next one will be making x equal to 3. So therefore, making use of the same equation, we are going to make x 3. So we have 3 in bracket 3 plus 5 equals a in bracket 2 times 3. I'm going to put that in a bracket plus 1 close bracket plus b in bracket 3 minus 3. Simplifying, I have 3 times 3, 9 plus 5 equals a in bracket, 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, close bracket, plus b multiplying 3 minus 3, 0. What happens is b minus 0 cancels out because that gives 0. Therefore, the equation becomes 9 plus 5, 14 equals 6 plus 1, 7, 7 times a, a. Therefore, dividing both sides by 7 to find the value of a, we have a equals 14 divided by 7, 2. So therefore, we're writing an equation that would be 3x plus 5 over x minus 3 in bracket, close bracket, open bracket 2x plus 1 will be a, we got a as 2 over x minus 3, the denominator remain the same, plus we got negative 1 for b, so we are going to change the plus to minus to reflect our negative 1. So we have negative 1 or minus 1 over 2x plus 1. So writing that as a partial fraction will give us 2 over x minus 3 minus 1 over 2x plus 1. Thanks for watching. Bye.